Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2! Last episode, we went to the Awakening Wood and did the White Flower Garden at midnight. In this episode, we're heading back to the Awakening Wood to collect some more treasure. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get to either of the other two caves that are present in this area. Because there's only a total of four caves in... There's a total of four caves in the Awakening Wood, and... Two of them we can't get to right quite yet. And yet another tutorial. Brilliant. Good morning! The white Pikmin are lodged with the purple ones in my hull. The two types are sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. You can call out the white Pikmin by standing in the light beneath me and pressing A. On a separate note, beware of overworking yourselves. Taking a break can be courageous, too. To retire early for the day, press Start Pause to access the radar screen and press R. Thank you for telling us how to end the day. You're motivating me to be such a good quitter. Alright. Let's get 60 reds. All of our purples. And all of our whites. And I suppose we can get out five more reds. Or not. I guess we ha got out exactly the right amount then. Kill these share groups because they're in the way. Might as well kill the Peloposes too. One one thing I should note is that White Pikmin and Purple Pikmin will just bring things to um they'll bring things to onions randomly. So when we get more onions, it'll be a crapshoot as to who it goes to. Although if there's a majority of a color on a specific um, on a, on a specific object. Like, if I have, if there's a five pellet and three of the Pikmin on it are red, then, and the others are purple or white, then it's still gonna go to the red onion. So they, they're random if they're all on their own, or if they're the majority, I think. Actually, it might not even be if they're the majority. If they're all on their own, it's random, but if they're with anything, it'll go to that color. The reason why we're going up here and we didn't go up here before is because I knew that there's a hidden buried treasure down here. So, that's what you get for having prior knowledge, basically. You know where you need to go and where you don't. It also helps having a treasure cage. So it looks like some sort of onion. Maybe it's onion bugs. Whenever, whenever I see a plant, I'm just gonna run into it to kind of get it in my Piclopedia. Speaking of which, there's a dandelion up here that I want to run into. And we got our onion! It's a real onion this time. And not one of the Olimar's onions. Pilgrim Bulb! Might not actually be an onion, but it looks like it. Has the same basic shape, so it's good enough for me. Wow, four things of nectar? That's a lot. Five! Six! Where were these yesterday? I couldn't use these all if I tried. Well, okay then. I guess I really won't complain. Bit surprised though. So that's all we can do over there. Oh no, you don't! These things are mean. You don't like them. These are the ravenous whisker pillars. They will do nothing but eat berries. And they also really grossly squirm around when they're dead as they're being carried. I'm not sure why the other one didn't die considering, you know, it was out of life. But I guess it was already in the process of going underground, so whatever. You're dead. Or not. Or just go through the entire... Whatever. But yeah. They're not nice, but they don't respond, thankfully, so... Louie, I'm gonna leave you there. Alamar. You get to take everyone else. That didn't go well. Louie. 
go over here. You're not welcome. Alright. Louie will once again be the guy who gets berries. And in the meantime, I'm gonna explore over here. Where we were in too much of a rush to really focus on. Yes, sir. He just knows the wall. How does that make you feel? Well, I mean, he was kind of dead anyway, but whatever. Alright. And now that we have our whites, we can get through this. I think we only have two whites with us, though. No, we have more. Just do that. Yeah, we don't have a lot of whites with us, so... While they're doing that... I guess the purples can take care of that. And... Um... Oh, that's right. Alright. Easiest solution for here would be... Get these guys back. These whites can work on this bridge, and I'll have Olimar come get the purples and reds, and Olimar will start, well actually, we'll leave the purples, get just the reds. And these reds can start working on the berries. It's all about the strategy here. And I know I said before how I was like, oh, I'm not very good with using multiple captions. And I feel like it's kind of showing because I'm really just not good at, like, figuring out what I want individual captions to do. I don't know. It just doesn't come naturally to me, having two captains to use. I'm just gonna wait until I hear the gate close. Sign. Noise. Sign. Sign. Alright, how's the gate doing? Decently, I suppose. Mm, really not much else I can do aside from knock down these gates, because they're blocking both of my paths. these purples and bring them over to where the rest of the purples are. It's still coming along. Might as well come up here and show this. This is why we can't have a hundred picking in the field. It's the blues! Unfortunately for us, there's a bit of a barrier in our way. We can't get through this. It only hurts us. And we haven't met any electrical resistant Pikmin in our adventures yet. Not even in our first game. So, I wonder what that will mean. That first gate's almost done, so that's good. More berries for us to get. You almost done here? Hello? This is really boring. I'm sorry. There's really not much I can do about it right now. There we go. Alright. As soon as these white guys take care of those, 
If only they could do that first. Honestly, that would make things much easier. I kind of feel like it should be the case. Like, you can destroy the pillar of smoke first, and then you can let everything take care of the gate? I feel like that would be good. Okay. So we got that ta being taken care of. I feel as though we've gotten a pretty decent chunk of berries. So I think I'll have Olimar now explore the other half. Kinda shame it's not Pikmin 3 where I could just ha leave some Pikmin there and trust that they will get berries. But let's explore over here. Over here we have a set of scales. Let's send our Pikmin, purple Pikmin up here first because they're heavy. Ow. The counter was a little off. Couple reds, come over here. That's way too much. I'm not sure why the counter is delayed like that, but it is kind of annoying. Actually, I think I need two. That's still way too many! Good enough. There we go. Good enough for me. Jesus, it's almost already the end of the day. Well, we can get this dice. Die. And here we have more berries. Only five of them, though. I didn't send enough. A couple purples, then. So we're not going to be able to f probably get whatever whatever juice this is going to produce, but oh well. This is almost done. There's a creeping chrysanthemum there, and you can see the eyes blinking where the whatever is in the center of flowers is. That's how you tell the difference between the regular flowers and the creeping chrysanthemum. Blah 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 blah. We already pretty much saw this text already. Basically, this is the only other thing I can do. Oh, good. Right on time. Destroy those, please. We got our dice. Chance Totem. Stop interrupting me! Okay. So, with our whites now, having taken care of all that, let's go reunite the groups. Because where Olimar is currently, is right up here. Ooh, we have more, we have five more. Alright, let's do that first. I don't think, unfor unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get what we're, I really was coming here after for, so. Which kind of sucks, considering I was really hoping I could be like a speedrun thing, like, get exactly what we need. Which, in case you haven't guessed it, is the globe piece that is right nearby where the gate that I just break, broke open. I mean, maybe if I'm fast, but I, it might be too far away, and I might be delaying too much by getting these berries. Alright, that's gonna give us the spray. It's purple! Got no more, blah blah blah, purple berries. The Ultra Bitter Spray! Approach enemies and press up on D to spray them. Now, what will that do? We've actually seen it before. Remember, yes remember yesterday's episode with the Piclopedia? And how I froze that bulb orb in its tracks, turned it to stone? That's what the Ultra Bitter Spray does. It's a really useful tool. I haven't quite used the Ultra Spicy Spray yet. Eh, whatever. Uh, 
this is gonna be a close call. You can die. And I don't care about you, what I want is this. It's upside down Africa! Actually, I think that's South America. Whoops. There's no Madagascar. This object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By examining this further, we may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. Alright, everyone on. Oh, if I built that bridge, it probably could have gotten there faster. Alright, Louie, you go there. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. That kind of stinks. And I'm gonna kind of end up wasting a day now, because, like, I mean, I guess I could bring some more Pikmin. But... I'll get it as far as I can. Darn. Alright, you did your best. I like how it vanished for a split second there. So that was kind of not as good as I had hoped. That was my big goal in this episode. This for this day, try just to get that. My white pigment weren't effective enough. I'm not sure why it took so long. I probably should have gone for that gate first, in hindsight, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. I'm not an effective speedrunner. That's what I've learned. Day three was a fluke. Olimar, good work so far. I heard hereby promote you to perennial manager. You're giving me tutorials. And the game has been saved. Hmm. It wasn't exactly super duper long. I only have one thing to one. There's only one other thing in the that I can really do tomorrow, and that's get that chip piece. Not chip piece, get that treasure. I mean, I guess I could always grow Pikmin, but that wouldn't be interesting to watch. So you know what? I'm just gonna go go back to the Awakening Wood today, right now, show you some highlights in case anything interesting happens or something I have to talk about, but it's probably not gonna be much. And I'm just gonna get that chip piece. Not chip piece, God damn it! this is not the first game. Oh, hey, we didn't get a tutorial. Huh, that's interesting to note. It got teleported back to where it was. One thing I am gonna do is build this bridge. Or get the chip item at the exact same time I say that. That's good timing, I guess. Geographic projection! This hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I will attempt to decrypt the stored data. Decoding complete. As I surmise, this chip contains additional topographic data. The data has been inputted into my survey, into my database. I shall name it the survey chart. I'm just skip the head on there. And now we can go to a new area, and I'm also going to break this bridge. That leads just right over to uh, where we fought the Bulborb on the first day we were here. Uh, you'll be able to see that more clearly in later, in a later episode. At the end of the day, I flowered a bunch of reds, got a whole ton of berries, got the geographic production, and that was all I could do, really. So, all in all, pretty productive. If not, in at least in the sense that I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that would normally I normally now I don't really need to spend much time in other days getting berries and stuff. Although purple berries I could use more of. Still haven't used any, but I mean, they will very come in handy. Much more than that grammar. I even sprouted a few of spreads when we were in the this. But all in all, not the most interesting day, so we really didn't miss much. Not the geographic blah 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 though. 
147, so we got 23 new Pikmin. Didn't lose any. Mail. Olimar! Deliver news! I thought I went to Happy Hulk with a savings and loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks! Oops. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, Brett. President. Let's call him Professor. He's not a professor. Barely qualifies as a president. But now, we've unlocked another new area, the Perplexing Pool, and we'll be heading there in the next episode because we can do things there now. We've completely cleared out the Valley of Repose and Awakening Wood for all that we can do at the moment. We need a new type of pigment to continue further. I bet you can tell what's going to happen. See you guys next time. Hope this video didn't end up being too long.